Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Janine. Today, I am going to show you how to make these super cute bows. They're so easy and so simple and change it up just a bit, but I really love them. And, I mean, the sky's the limit as far as combi color combinations you can do. But I'm going to show you how to do these. This one I did with two and a half inch satin single faced ribbon. And then this one I did with three inch grow grain ribbon. And the three inch one measures about four inches wide. The two inch one's almost about the same width. It's just a little bit uh, narrower, I guess you can say this way. But they are still both cute in their own fashion. And then I have this little guy here that I did with the inch and a half ribbon. I will give you all the measurements to these down in the description below. But today I'm gonna just I'm gonna show you with this one. But for the other ones and all the different size ribbons, I'm gonna I'll give you the measurements in the description below. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I have already cut my ribbon and I've sealed the ends together and I'm gonna show you how I did that. And for this, I'm using single face. So what I did was I took the doll sides and I put them back to back with each other so that the shiny sides are up on both of them. And this is if you're using two colors to get this look. For this one, you won't have to do this step because you're only using one color. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I did here. All I did was just take my lighter Run it down here, get this like good and heated, and just kind of pinch together. And I do that a couple of times just to ensure that they kind of seal together because you want them connected like so. Okay, so I have my two cuts for this one. For the two and a half inch ribbon, I'm using 11 inches. I cut my strips to 11 inches, and I have two of each color cut here because I'm doing it a two-tone one. So what you're going to want to do is find out which one you want to be your uh, main color and then which one you want to be your inside color and then that's how you do it. So I want the, the tan to be this color so I'm going to fold them in half like this so that my tan or my off-white, whichever, however you want it see the color on your screen is like this and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a pin just to hold it there because the satin ribbon likes to move on you so I'm just gonna hold that there so then what I do here is I take this corner and I fold it to the left so we're getting this whole deal here so then all I do is I just take it and make sure it's like level, hold it in place. And then right here on this little corner here, I just put a little bit of glue. Just a little bit. Just to hold it where you want it. And then this side, I'm going this direction with it. So we're going to do the same thing. Get it all lined up where I want it. And then I'm going to put a little bob of glue. And I'm going to hold it down. So essentially you're going to get this look. So we're going to repeat that step with the other one. That one out of the way. So once again, I'm going to fold it in half. With my tannish off-white color on top. And I'm just going to stick my pin just to hold it in place for me. And then I'm going to take this side. And I'm going to go to my left. Get it all lined up. A little blob of glue. Now I'm going to take this side and I'm going to go to my right. Just like so. Put a little blob of glue. Alrighty, so now we have our two pieces set up like this. So now we're going to grab our needle and upholstery thread. And what we're going to do 
is I work best this way, but if you work best going this way, that's fine for you. But for me, I'm better off going this way. So I'm going to take this top one and I'm going to fold that corner right down to there. So I want the corners to meet, essentially. So I'm just going to put my needle through there. And I'm just, there is no exact count to this. I'm just going to say, um, just go until you get to the end. So right about here, I'm going to push my needle all the way through. And then I'm going to take this end and I'm going to fold it up. So we're looking like this. My corner to corner. And then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to push it back through one more time so that I catch that corner, which is why I stopped and then I folded it. Catch that corner. So now here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cinch it all down like so. And I'm going to get this. So I'm just going to hold it here. And I'm going to run a few stitches back and forth just to secure this pinch. See here, give it a nice good pull and then just a couple back here on the back side of it. So I just want it to stay together like this. Give it one knot and then I'm going to come back through with one more knot. Because I just really want to secure this. I don't want it to come apart on me. So there we go. One more knot. That. And. Okay. Here for this step now. This is what I'm going to do. As those of you who are avid watchers you know i use a wood burner new ones my wood burner is my favorite multi-tool i use it for a lot of different things i use it to cut and seal my ribbon i use it to seal ends i use it just about for a whole lot of things and it is my favorite thing for this one what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this part of my wood burner and i'm gonna set it on here because what i'm doing is i'm sealing all these ends down but really what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make a flat side here. You can tell in the video that that's flat. Right there. And that's what I'm trying to get. So that's one side. Now I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to bring my corner up. Put my needle through. And then just start weaving in and out. Spacing. I mean, as you can tell, it doesn't uh, change the effect on it, and it doesn't really matter how many. It's just to where you are comfortable with it. So right about there, I'm going to stop weaving, and then I'm going to pull this side up, match up my corners, like so, and then I'm going to take my needle, make sure I go through all layers, just like so. And then we're going to pull... We're going to pull it and we're going to hold it so that I can put a few stitches through. And this part, it doesn't matter. This isn't going for neatness or whatever. We're going for security here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tie it off now. Give a couple of knots just to secure it down. And we're going to snip. So, and now we have this, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm actually going to trim that down with my wood burner. The other good thing about the upholstery thread is it melts, but doesn't burn, because it's a nylon thread, so. So once again, we're going to just take our side, and we're wanting to flatten this off. Just like so. So 
So now I have a flat side here and I have a flat side here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little glue gun and I'm just going to put some glue right there. I'm going to take the two ends and I'm going to put them together. And then I'm just going to hold it. Till I think they're just about dry. And that's why I flatten off the sides so that I can meet them up with each other perfectly. So I like to do it this way. So now we have that. So now we're going to grab a piece of ribbon. And I'm looking for a perfect one in my scrap box. Probably going to use this white here. So then what I do on this back side is I just put another little bit of glue back here. And my fingers aren't working today. There we go. Just going to hold that down. And I want to wrap this a few times around. So, and then we go there, snip off the extra, heat seal that side, and then glue it down. And there we have it. Just like so. And you can puff them and loop them. I sprayed with um, some hairspray just to because like maybe if you store them, your customers store them flat, they get flattened out and then they don't look so good. So I tend to spray 90% of my bows with hairspray just to help them hold their shape. And I have never had an issue with my daughter's bows losing shape over time with the hairspray. I'm going to say so long as they don't get wet. But, so, there's that. You got your two and a half inch, and you've got your three inch here. And this one was made with one and a half inch ribbon. It's a really cute little one. But, I really do like these uh, two-tone ones here for, with the satin ribbon. I think they look super cute and super great. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and it helped you make another pretty and please definitely hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe and come by crafting with Janine in Facebook and connect with all of us there and you guys have yourselves a wonderful day and like I said I will put all the measurements for the different size bows in the descriptions below um, so yeah please 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 subscribe you guys are really awesome, and I really do love all my fans. You guys have a wonderful day, and have a happy day crafting.